And the second biggest chunk of root causes to autoimmunity is leaky gut. When you have leaky gut, what happens is we have these holes in our intestinal lining and we only have one layer of epithelial cells that protect our intestinal lining. We have seven on the outside of our skin, but only one on the inside. So it's very fragile. We have bili to protect that on top of that. And then we have a mucosal lining. But if you're not in good shape, meaning your gut's in disarray, you're eating perhaps too much processed food, you have a lot of stress, you have a lot of toxins, you uh, are taking a lot of medications, or you're drinking a lot of alcohol, you're eating a lot of sugar, dairy, gluten. Gluten's really helpful in poking holes in our intestinal lining. So if you're doing that, likely, and I test everybody for leaky gut, and most people walk into my office with some form of leaky gut. So it's extremely common. So leaky gut is a huge one. And when we have leaky gut, those holes... We get toxins or organ malfunctions or food particles, undigested proteins that go inside the intestinal lining and it goes through the bloodstream and the body goes, who are you? You're the enemy. And our own defense system starts to create antibodies. That's how we protect ourselves. So these antibodies will build. It causes inflammation and antibody production. And we do this long enough and eventually those antibodies are going to find an enemy, right? It's going to park itself in a gland, a tissue or an organ. And there you have it. So that's how we become, we get an autoimmune disease.